Go a little bit faster. Yeah, your body and everything looks pretty good. That's good. I would stay that speed. His head's good. Yep, it's starting to come up a little bit. His yeah. head is raising. Yep. So yeah, just, but he's kind of self-correcting a little bit. That's so good. I'm not gonna pull on him. No, not it's unless it comes good. higher. Ooh, yeah. So you felt him kind of sit down a little bit. Yeah. That's their stifle. So a lot of these horses have loose stifles so they can reach underneath them. So uh -huh. if it ever feels like you kind of sit down, it's the stifle went a little bit out of place. Okay. Yeah, and that's okay if it happens once in a while. If okay. it happens like, you know, 10 times in a ride, that's a different, Okay. That, then that's an issue. <laughs> okay, I've never had that. I've never yes. felt that before. No, but you probably weren't riding in a round pen either. No. Yep, so now he's a little slower. So ask him to walk a little bit faster again with some energy. That's better, yep. That's good. Yep, and then just get that head back down. And then the release, good job. Get a more on the pacey side. So we want it here or lower, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now ask for a little bit more speed. Right there, don't go any faster. Yep, now get that head down. Be a little bit harsh if you have to and squeeze with your legs at the same time. Lean back. Yep. Now we lost our speed. So a little faster. Now bring his head back down. That was too much speed. Go. Yep. Work on his head. Don't worry about the speed yet. Get his head back down. Yep. Then keep a like a light contact on him so he knows to keep it down because he keeps coming up since we're going faster. Keep working on his head. Be a little bit harsher. Yep. Because it's still up there. You're good with your upper body. Yep, you might have to bend your elbows a little more to put more pressure on him. Now release a little bit because it's starting to come down. Okay, so we're still kind of at our flat walk because it went back as we worked on his head, it got slower. So keep a feel on your reins. Think of bending your elbows some, keeping his head down and then adding your legs. So it's almost like you're riding with the brakes and the gas on at the same time. Yep, bend your elbows a little bit more. Yep, lean back. Yep, and then we gotta get that head back down. The speed's good, but the head's not. <laughs> yep, so if it's not coming, you can always slow him down. There you go, good boy. And just tell him when he drops his head, he's a good boy, so he knows it's the right thing. Yep, but keep going. You might not be able to pet him, because yeah, then he right. thinks he's done. Yep. Right. Okay. So we're still for his running walk. We're going to go a little faster. So think I want you to hold those reins. Yep. And more leg. Lean back a little bit. Now release. Yep. There you go. That was it. Now he's. Now his head came up a little bit higher. So see if you can bring that head back down. Lean back a little bit. Yep, and then your leg. Keep holding. Hold a little more. Help him figure it out. L release. There you go. Yep. Now you Now you have to do it over and over a thousand times. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you're getting it. It's okay. You're good. Yep, bring his head a little bit lower because it's starting to go up and you might have to pull on your right rein more, the outside rein. Your left one looks a little bit shorter, the rein towards me with the watch on. Is that better? Yes. And then faster. <laughs> That's pretty good right there. So his legs are still separated. You're doing good. He's just got to stay that speed.
stay that speed. But if he goes faster than that, he's probably going to hit that pace or the step pace. So what's the next speed up? If I go up from here, that's not anything desirable? It should be like a rack uh -huh. is what we're getting. But you don't want to go for that yet until you can do this consistently. Okay. Yeah, because if you go too fast for it and the horse doesn't know what to do, then they just start pacing. Okay. Yeah, so bring his head down a little bit more. Yep, now go at your speed. So a little bit faster. And now his head's starting to come up. So you might have to pull on your right rein, your outside rein. Yep, ask him again to bring his head down. Right there, you're good. But you'll see, once I send you the video, you'll see he moves different when his head's up versus down, mm -hmm. you know? And you can tell when he's using himself more because then you see a lot more shaking in his head. Yeah.